Yo, what's up guys? So today we're going to be making a video. Now this video is going to be a tutorial on how to do the Captain Marvel Combat Clash event quest. So basically, if you just take a quick squeeze at the rewards, the basic training, look at these juicy rewards. You've got some 5 star shards, you've got some 4 star shards, so you've got some really good stuff. So, you really want to do this. Now, I struggled a bit with the hardest ones. And let's just look at my champions. So, we have a Dr. Voodoo, rank 3. We have a Blade. These are the ones that I used, uh, rank 4. Then we have a um, Sparky. And then we have a... Um, where is it again? Where? Where did I use my other champions again? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Dr. Voodoo, Blade. Wait, Iceman, where's Iceman at? What? Oh yeah, sorry, okay, so Iceman and Hyperion, Dr. Voodoo, Blade, and another fella. Oh yeah, and Sparky. So those are the ones that I used and I struggled, like, and believe me, I'm really good in skill for, I mean, for my rating. So. Let's jump into it. Now, I'm not going to do the hardest one. No, 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 no. We're going to be doing it, okay? But here's the thing. It's got some very interesting buffs. And also, I'm going to walk through the whole quest with you guys. But I'm definitely going to be doing the easiest one. Just so I can give a good... Um, just so I can get the best as possible gameplay um, without dying. And I don't want to use revives for this. Because this is just doing it again. So, let's... So let's do this first. So we've got just um, extra crap there. Okay, extra nods. Then we have aggressive, the opponent's, the opponent's more aggressive. Uh, third, special attack is activated, so that's no good. But, you know, all good. Well, it's, it's not the best. That's what I meant to say. So aspect of war. So basically, your... What happens is with aspect of war, your... There's two things. There's, first of all, when you block over time, it will, you have just lower and lower block proficiency. It will just get worse and worse and worse. And then that's buff one. Oh, no, sorry, debuff one. Debuff two is that they get an unstoppable every single time they do an ability, and also it's unblockable. How to stop that unblockable is to intercept. Now, you have to get the perfect... 10 out of 10 intercept, or you will not get it. Well, there's only one way of intercepting that, and that's intercepting. But if you're just starting out, um, yeah, you're not going to be able to do this. For Oh, whoops, for example. have to intercept like that, okay? And also, we get a power lock. That's fine. Whatever, who cares? Um, so basically, with Miss Marvel, her first attack, she shoots out a beam. And second attack, she kicks you twice. Oh, oh, yeah, see that? I thought she was going to swipe to me, but she didn't. I guess what we're going to do. Like, whoa. Okay, yeah, not the best right now. Hmm. Okay, I just got the perfect intercept when... All right, let's just heal with me fellow blade. All right, um, whoa. Oh, I totally choked right there. Okay, so... Basically... She shoots out beams, so she's really not that hard as a character. But the aspect of war, I would probably say, is the hardest one ever. The hardest, sorry, nod I've ever done, actually. Probably. Aspect is aspect of war is very tough. Next, we have um, Iron Man World War Two. No, sorry, <laughs> Iron Man World War Two. Iron Man Infinity War. So basically what you want for this is you want a a power gain and an incinerate. AKA you want Hyperion. If you don't have Hyperion, well I don't know what you're doing. You want Mephisto. If you don't have Mephisto uh, I don't know. But you want people that do incinerate. So basically at the start of the fight this one doesn't do um This one doesn't do what's it called? Aspect of war. This is um differences basically where you this the game starts off with 
No, wait, does it? Wait, I wait. Oh, this is half an aspect of more war. My bad. Okay, so basically, you want an incinerate person like Hyperion. You want someone that gets power gain. So it can be either way. It doesn't really matter. So basically, what you want to do with Iron Man. Okay, it, the battle went a bit too far. Oh, sorry, fast. So while he has armor, just stop fighting. Unless you're, unless you do someone that does incinerate. If they do incinerate, then keep on fighting. Get those incinerates to do chip damage because he does um, dodge. Well, not dodge, but he does um, take away a lot of the damage with the armor up. So that's that. Next, we have Brawl. Brawl is super annoying, but it's not that bad because we have um, and there's aspect of war because we have. Um, both of us have the good and the bad. Well, the good is of, the bad is of Brawl, but the good is of Aspect of War. Because Brawl, they practically always have Unstoppable once it's activated. So, what you want to, a lot of the time, not always, but practically. I'll show you. So, I'm just going to jump in with Sparky. Now, when they're blocking, attack them, because their block is worse, and so is yours. So, that's like the most crucial Time to attack. Okay, so as you can... Oh! She was blocking before, but she unblocked. Okay. Yeah, did you see how much damage that dealt? Okay, um... I know I just like doing this. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, I didn't get to swipe back. Um, my bad. Okay. So, it's very annoying, Brawl Ball. Sorry, no, not Brawl Ball. Brawl. It's very annoying. Like, it's... Believe me, Brawl Ball is annoying. Aspect of War... Aspect of war is probably um, harder. Okay, I'm stuffing up bad with Rogue. So, here's what you want to do with Rogue. Try and find someone that does just a lot of damage like Corv's Glaive. Because um, Corv's Glaive, what he does is he gets a lot of crits. So, you want someone like Corv's Glaive or like Karnik. Or, like, someone that doesn't rely on bleed effects or something, a debuff. Because, kind of like, um... Kind of like... Oh, who was I saying? Um... Don't know, I completely forgot it. Just, you want someone that is able to... Not rely. Yeah, exactly. S sorry, not exactly. I remembered it. So you want someone like Black Panther. Sorry, no, my bad. I'm stuffing up bad. You want someone not like Black Panther. Because Black Panther does a lot of... He does a lot of bleeds. And that's basically all he relies on. Bleeds, bleeds, bleeds. And you don't want bleeds. Because she's just going to... Um, it's going to end really fast. Black Widow is easy. There's not really any necessary tips for that. Just, just, just try not to parry because it's just like Iron Man. Um, it's very hard to parry because of the chance that it will parry and there's a chance that it won't parry. Um, next, we have Kalamakan. Now, Kalamakan is, well, Miss Marvel Kalamakan. She's... She's got this interesting buff. Okay, so... Sorry, Nod. So, what she does is... She, what she does is, whenever you have a buff, she literally just gets power gain on and on and on. So, Dr. Voodoo, not good. Iceman, not good. Anyone that gets a buff on themselves, <clears throat> not good. Blade is good because he does get a buff, however, it does not have the image, it just says the buff. It doesn't actually have the buff well it, it's a buff either way but it doesn't have the image like the circle well the icon it doesn't have the icon and that's what you want you don't want it to have the icon so that's what blade does so blade is mvp for this honestly blade is probably the best considering like he's so good and will this kill me oh that was an interesting. Yeah, I I'm not really a fan of her triple. It's kind of lame. And, um, 
Oh, okay, I didn't even need to die from that triple. I already died originally. That unstoppable destroyed me, though. Okay, so, yeah, she's a very interesting character. I'm not a fan of her um, um, animations. Not a not the biggest fan. <clears throat> Alright, so once you get here, yeah, Iceman is, he's bad, but he's good at the same time. Because he gets ice armor, which protects him from triple attacks, but she gets triple attacks. So, it's not as bad as... Um, like someone else that would just die instantly. So, honestly, she's just completely easy. She really is not that bad. But, I would say the hardest, by far, by far, is Iron Man Infinity War. And then Rogue. And then Black Widow. And then the first Miss Marvel. And then the next Miss Marvel. And then Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel is just easy. All she does is just get more power gain. Well, specific notes, she just gets power gain. Well, sorry, extra power, which is practically power gain because she gains more power. Um, and also aspect of war. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. We stuffed up bad there. Yeah, you want good intercepts. Man, for some reason, off camera, I do so good. But on camera, I do so garbage. So, yeah. Sucks, me sucks to be me. All right, there we go. Whoa, 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 hoo, hoo. whoa, okay, um, here, alright, oh, straight to the triple, there's no way I'm going to be surviving that, because I lost my ice armor, I should kill her pretty fast. I don't want it. Okay, yeah. Never mind. Oh, no! Let's just play it easy. Alright. And there you go. That is a full walk through the whole quest. I hope you enjoyed. If this did help you, slap a like on that. No. Slap a like on that button. No, smash a like button. Yeah, okay. Just... Be sure to like and subscribe for more quality content, 10 out of 10 content. Peace out.